Good morning, students. I'm delighted to meet you all today. Before we get on to the poem, I want to say you something. If God be with us, who can be against us? If God be with us, who can be against us? So, cast all your anxieties and worries on God because He comforts us. Don't involve in petty fights with your siblings. Share your things with your siblings. Take care of them and lead a happy life. Well, today we are going to learn a poem. The name of the poem or the title of the poem is Life. Written by Henry Van Dyke. Well, before we walk through the poem, let me introduce a riddle. What animal is that which in the morning goes on four feet, at noon on two, and in the evening on three? Let me repeat. What animal is that which in the morning goes on four feet, at noon on two, and in the evening on three? Yes, you are right. Man, I could hear you shouting. It is reflected in the slide itself. There are three or four stages a man has in his life. First stage is infancy. There a man, the infant, uses all four limbs to move from one place to another. The next stage is youth or adulthood. That time he is brisk, strong and sturdy. And the final stage where he needs a support. He needs a walking stick for his movement or for his balance. So man is the right answer. Today we are going to learn a poem, life. A very small poem with the deepest meaning in it. Written by Henry Van Dyke. Henry Van Dyke is the 20th century writer, American author, educator, clergyman or pastor, the one who preaches the word of God, short story writer and poet. His early works, The Story of the Other Wise Man and The First Christmas Tree were read aloud to the congregation in New York as sermons. These quickly brought him recognition. Let's Delve into the poem. Firstly, what is life all about? Why do we face so many problems? And why do we tangled with so many complicated things? Because every time we want to compete with others. Everyone has a separate track to lead a life. But we compare and contrast with what we have with others. We compare what we have with others all the time. So we want to outshine others. We are not happy and contented with what we have. We don't know what is good or what is bad in us. What is our strength or weakness in us. But we know very clearly about others. So I can say it's not our fault. It is programmed in our mind in such a way that wherever we go, we should stand first. We should win recognition. We should outshine the people around us. We need fame and popularity. For that, every time man is running for something without knowing for what purpose he is running, how long he can run, he has been running and searching for something. In the search, he loses his happiness and the purpose of life. But the poet says, no, no, no. I don't want what you search for. I know my track is. I know to run on my own way. You can't compel me. You can't come and disrupt my way of life. You can't stop me from attaining happiness in my life. When I was a child, I was happy. Right now, I am happy. Because I have a proper planning in my life. I am not behind anyone. I am not behind any fame. It doesn't mean that I don't have a, an ambition in my life. Yes, I have an ambition. I have a proper vision about my future. You can't come and disrupt me. 
till the last day of my life. I will move forward with all happiness and satisfaction. Let's read the poem now. Let me but live my life from year to year. Allow me to live my life. With forward face and unreluctant soul. Forward face. Allow me to lead my life with my face looking forward. And unreluctant. Here unreluctant means enthusiastic. So my soul is all is filled with enthusiasm and happiness. So allow me to move forward. Not hurrying to. I am not in a hurry to achieve anything. Not turning from the goal. I am not deviated from my goal. So my goal is fixed. I know where I am moving forward to. I am not in a hurry to reach my destination. I am not deviated from my goal. Allow me to go forward. Not mourning for the things that disappear in the dim past. See, I am not lamenting over what already happened. Bygone is bygone. We say past is past. I can't go and change what mistake I did in the past. I am not lamenting over this spilled milk. Bygone is bygone. Not holding back in fear what from what the future waits. See, I don't know what I have in the future. What I am going to face in the future. But I am not afraid. Let it happen. I am ready to face it. I don't have any fear about my future. Yes, it is hidden. It is not revealed to me. Still, I have the grit and nerve to face my future. But with a whole and happy heart, with all happiness, I am moving forward. That pays its toll. Sometimes, sometimes my life takes a heavy, heavy toll on me. Sometimes it brings, my life brings bad, bad events or bad moments, occasions in my life. To youth and age and travels on with cheer. From youth to, to uh, in every stage. At every stage, I move with a happy and contented and cheerful heart. So let the way wind up the hill uh, or down. So when I move forward, there are twists and turns in my life. Sometimes I go up the hill or come down the hill. When I am going forward, I face tempests in my life, strong winds in my life. Sometimes it is very rough and hard to face. Sometimes it is smooth and consoling and comforting. So my journey is filled with both the things, both good and bad. The journey will be joy, but for me, it's a joy. The journey is, is a joy because I am leading that journey. I face many things, both good and bad I face, but it's a joy for me. Still seeking what I sought when but a boy. How I am, I'm just like a schoolboy. I'm just a boy. That time, when I was a boy, I was happy. I was happy and I was energetic. And I led every moment. The same boy lives in me. Though I am an adult now, but my heart is still young. New friendship, new high adventure and a crown. So, on my journey, I get, I am acquainted with new friends. I face many adventures, many turns, many unexpected things happen in my journey. And a crown awaits for me. Because I enjoy my journey, so I am sure I will definitely have a crown at the end of the journey. My heart will keep the courage of the quest. So, what is my game? What is my quest? What is my desire? I will have a crown. I have that courage in me. I have the desire with all courage that I led a happy and contented life, a fulfilled life. So, in the end of the journey, I will have a crown. And hope the road's last turn will be the best. I'm certain that at the end of the journey, I will be given the crown. My journey will be the best one and an admirable one. Everyone will praise me for my journey. Or it will give me happiness. It will give me the satisfaction that I lived a perfect life.
Now it's time for us to learn some words from the poem. Okay, first, unreluctant. We don't have the word unreluctant in the dictionary, but the meaning, reluctant, the word reluctant is unwilling. Already and the word negative word is added, negative prefix is added, so meaning has changed. Willing and enthusiastic. Hurrying, speeding up or hastening. Please learn the words. Mourning means grieving or, or worried, sorrow or sadness. Disappear, vanish, fade away. Way, covering, a mask, seek. Good for, seek, look for, or search for, avenger, quest, exploration, or voyage, quest, hunt, search, chase, many words we have. Now, let's test our memory part. I have some sentences with blanks. I have given you some words from the poem. You have to fill in the blanks with appropriate words. First sentence is, when you are a child, life is one big dash. You have to choose the word from the poem. Words are given. You can choose the appropriate word now. When you are a child, life is one big dash. It's a kind of a hunt, a thrill. Another word for that. Yes, one big adventure. Second word. She is dash for the conference. Uh, meaning is speeding up. You have to get the appropriate word from the poem. She is dash for the conference, speeding up. Another word. Yes, hurrying. They watch the bus dash into the distance. So, it is vanishing from their eye eyesight. So, she, the, they watch the bus dash into the distance. Vanishing into the distance. Another word. Yes, disappear into the distance. Very good. She was dashed to go with him. She is not ready to go with him. She is ready to go with him. She was unreluctant or she is willing to go with him. Here, unreluctant to go with him. Nothing will stop them in their dash for truth. Search for truth or desire for truth. Can you say the exact word from the poem? Nothing will stop them in their quest for truth. Right? Quest. A dash of mist obscured the view. A cloud of mist we can say. Or a curtain of mist. Canopy of mist. What is that? Exact word from the poem. A veil. Veil of mist. Very good. His family or still dash John's tragic death. So death is connected to grieving. Grieving for death of someone. Yes. Mourning. His family are still mourning John's tragic death. The last one, dash and you shall find. Famous statement, dash you shall find. Search. Another word for search. Yes, seek and you shall find. Thank you students. Good day, happy learning and happy week ahead. Bye.